trying to find a place to park. At the Louisville VA Medical Center. I've been all over the place trying to find a place there is none. Veterans have a new fight on their hands. We need more parking spots for the veterans. It's wrong. It's totally wrong. And the battlefield is the parking lot. There's no spots to park. <laughs> it's so horrendous. I've never seen anything like it. There are only about 1,500 parking spots for more than 3,300 people who come to the hospital every day. I think they just run out of room. Vets who can't find a space. My car is up there. Usually find themselves parking in a neighborhood almost a quarter of a mile up this hill. I told him I parked up near his mother's house. Did he think that was funny? <laughs> Until he realized how far it was. <laughs> It's where 77-year-old retired specialist Russell Arnold and his wife Brenda ended up. I've got two replaced hips and one uh, right knee replaced, and the left one's going too. I mean, can you imagine somebody who lost a limb trying to make this walk? They could now, I don't think. Well, I would say it would be difficult. Neighbors say it's difficult to watch, too. Handicapped folks, you know, trying to make their way down to the hospital. You know, I've seen amputees. Uh, walk into uh, you know hospital or you know being put like I said pushed down in in wheelchairs but it's just sad like I said some things you see and it's just can't even believe it's going on the problem is compounded in the dead of winter on a wet day like today a lot of these veterans have to park in mud like this and then trek through all this stuff to get to the hospital and last week I had to have a tow truck pull me out because I got stuck in this muck a helicopter accident ended retired Lance Corporal Eddie Newcomb's Marine career, and he comes to the VA for treatment once a week. He calls the parking situation deplorable. Do men and women who serve their country deserve better than this? you damn right they do. It doesn't seem right. It seems like veterans deserve better. Right or wrong? No, you're absolutely right. And so far, medical park, center director Wayne Pfeffer hasn't been able to find a solution. In the valet parking, it's full. He added valet parking, but vets say it's often full by 9 a.m. VA is renting 100 off-site parking spots for employees to clear space for patients, and 80 more off-site spaces are in the works. The VA is also reconfiguring some of its own parking lots, adding even more spaces. Still, it is just a fraction of what veterans need. Is this an unfixable situation? Um, I think until we either get a new hospital or a parking garage, we're not going to have a perfect parking situation. But a new VA is at least eight years away, and that new on-site parking garage, which will cost $9 million, hasn't been approved by the federal government. Neighbors have asked Congressman Yarmouth and Councilwoman Ward Pugh to step in, but calls and letters from the elected officials haven't accomplished much. The VA did put up some signs at the back gate to discourage vets from parking on the street. That could lead to parking tickets for the vets and no solution to their parking problem. About 22 minutes ago we arrived, so we're going to have to come back another day. Even Governor Bashir got an earful when he visited the VA the day after Valentine's Day. We got your Valentine from the people of the Commonwealth. Okay, come to the order. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so retired specialist Russell Darnold's military service might be worth a lot of things. And there we are. Yeah, there we are. Uh, it's just not always worth a place to park.